Hey everybody, and welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. I'm Sally, your Monday vlogger, here a day late and a dollar short. I apologize, I was out of town on a uh, two-day getaway, and I had a wonderful time, but uh, here I am back at my desk within the first hour of being out of the car, and here with you to share this great question of the week, which is, lifestyle changes. What changes has your weight loss surgery and weight loss created in your life? And they would like some concrete examples of that. And I haven't watched Rosemary's yet because I know good and well I would be influenced by her brilliant answers. So let's hope that they don't completely repeat, but we'll just go for the flow. Here we go. Um, I did make a list. I would say one of the first things that changed, um, it, it, I have to say, it's not just your body that changes. Your body change, your physical changes uh, release you from a kind of an internal prison and a prison of your mind and your emotions. Um, uh, and that prison release from losing weight and feeling more and more free to be more mainstream, more normal, more not noticeable for any negative reasons. Um, the insecurity that I carried over the years from being heavy, um, not wanting that kind of attention, um, that that has all fallen away. Um, I am so much more confident in myself than I used to be. I have so much more self-acceptance. I know that doesn't seem necessarily true to everybody all the time because I'm pretty much out there and I, I pretty much bear it all. So you've seen me, the good, the bad, and, and the, uh, the uh, ugly. Um, but having a positive mental attitude is a huge change for me from being a person who suffered from depression and was called a negatron uh, earlier in her life. Um, I was a worrier, I had anxiety issues, um, and I had a lot of insecurity and depression and self-doubt. I don't have those issues the way I used to anymore. And the weight loss uh, has is totally responsible for that. Um, I feel released from a prison uh, and that anything is possible Anything, any dream, any anything I want to try, as long as it's something I want to try. I'm not a big risk taker. I am. I don't feel. I feel confidence that I am allowed to try to do that. Um, example would be on my trip to Bermuda, getting on the back of a moped, not worrying about anybody looking at my rear side. I've talked about that before on some videos. I used to be very self-conscious about people behind me. I never wanted anybody behind me looking at the back side of me. That's all gone. I don't think about that anymore. Um, some of the things that have changed, I want to be healthy. Um, I went from a person who's, you know, your motivation when you first start this is, let's face it, I didn't have any health-related issues with my obesity. I was 250 pounds at one time, two, almost 270. Um, and I'm down to like 130, low 130s. Um, my desire um, was to be thin. I wanted to be skinny. I wanted to be normal. I wanted to fit in, but you know what? The further I went with this, I wanted to be healthy. For me, taking my mindset off and, and reaching goal really made that a simpler thing because you eat, make healthy choices to lose this weight, but you really ingrain those choices and I make healthy choices. Not everybody makes healthy choices. Some people will make choices just to lose the weight. My choices were healthy choices to lose the weight and and for me, that has ingrained a way of living and eating. I've eaten very much whole healthy foods. I make things from scratch. I don't eat processed stuff any more than possible. Um, if I if I have any control over what I'm cooking, I don't use processed stuff necessarily. It's just who I am. I do still eat artificial sugar, which is not great, but we all have our vices. And I still like sweets. But I do all things in moderation, and I try to eat and listen to my body and eat in a mindful way and a healthy way and in a um, portioned way. I mean, we all do portion control now. I was away for two days. There's a good example. I did not do terribly well, and I think if I see one more sandwich or, or sandwich meat or a piece of bread, I'm going to puke. I mean, I just seemed like wherever we were, that was what we went to get easily. And um, I can't wait. I couldn't wait to come home and eat fresh fruit and fresh salad and fresh vegetables and not see a piece of bread for another week. So I'm just saying my body craves healthy. It makes me feel good if I eat right. And that's the key for me. Um, my, so my drive is about being healthy. Um, I no longer have body aches. Being heavy 
back aches, being a pair, back aches, knee aches. Um, I don't suffer from that anymore. So that also leads to stamina. I have a lot more stamina to go longer to do things. We went up and did a lot of walking the last two days, visiting some uh, garden, Longwood Gardens in Winterthur, which are in um, Pennsylvania and Delaware. And, um, and I took my older sister with me and we did a lot of walking and they did have more trouble than we did. Um, and it was, you know, I had to really slow it up because I could have gone another two or three hours without a break. Um, positivity, I've talked about that. I have a, a very positive attitude now. I feel confident now. I crave healthy foods now. Oh, in a tangible way, I'm a bodybuilder. I mean, I won't say I'm a bodybuilder. But the things I did not do before was very sedentary. I was a couch potato. I did walk, but that was as much for a mental when I was trying to diet before, I would walk for exercise. And I had done curves years gone by. But um, for me to go into the gym and find that body pump and bodybuilding became a passion of mine and a real driving force and feeling strong and dynamic. Body pump does as much for me mentally as it does for me physically. I feel like superwoman when I get in my body pump class and I'm in body pump mode and I'm lifting the weights and I'm repeating the things and I'm doing the squats and I'm doing the lunges. I feel like superwoman. Um, and that does so much for me here and here and here, not just here. So I commend all of you to find your new way, your new life, and stop and count the cost of being of obesity held in your life. The prison of obesity that we lived in most of our lives. Count that cost again. Stop and take stock and see the positive changes you're making and the way your life has changed. And make a list and think about that. And be glad that you have the opportunity to have a whole new life to start again and to live again. And at 54, I don't have near as many years as many of you have to live again. So don't waste another minute. Take this gift and make the most of the tool that you can. Don't waste your time or the risk you took in having surgery. Make it all that you can make it. Give it all you've got to give it. And success will be surely uh, in your path. You guys get a great day, have a great week, and I will see you next week. Bye.